I just saw there weighing in at about 160 in the morning. Um, it's Mother's Day, of course. I'm gonna go hit a workout with Nicholas B. Castle. Link down in the description. But yeah, that's about it. What we have for this morning. I took a, a scoop of creatine when I woke up, which is five grams. I'm gonna be taking you through my my stack. So pretty much just gonna be my protein, my intro workout, my pre-workout, now all that jazz. So to start off, what we have is. Um, EP Nutrition's 100% Whey Protein. This is their Cinnamon Crunch flavor, and it literally tastes like Cinnamon Crunch. The macros on it are amazing. We got uh, 2 grams of sugar, 4 grams of carbs, 120 calories, 29 grams of protein, and it's it really mixes really well, and there's also some digestive enzymes if you have trouble you know, digesting protein powder. Which I do. Next, I know I have another protein powder, but that's just uh, that's just a whey isolate. It's unflavored, just 25 grams of protein. So I just, I don't know, I don't use that that often. Next, we have Carboload by Extreme Edge. This is their orange flavor. This is just like an intro workout carbs. I usually do about one to two scoops whenever I start feeling a little gassed. But um, I wouldn't say I take this every workout. I usually, I usually only take it on leg days or on my... Uh, back day when I do deadlifts because that's that's usually when I get taxed. I can usually get through my chest and shoulder workouts without any trouble, but leg days, this definitely helps a lot. Now, I know I made a video saying I don't take all these crazy supplements and all that, like creatine and whatnot, but um, that was before I had a coach, and my coach has me on you know the right path. He has me growing. So what I take for creatine is I take Jack Factory's creatine monohydrate, which I just take one scoop when I wake up and then one scoop after my workout. Now for pre, this is kind of like a two-parter because one one pre-workout I only take like two days, two days out of the week. Uh, what I take usually is Bucked Up. This has six grams of citrulline and two hundred grams of or two hundred milligrams of alpha alpha size, whatever that is. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't exactly know what alpha size is, but it tastes really good. This is a strawberry kiwi flavor. It literally tastes just like a popsicle. But, yeah, I'm actually waiting on my pre from EP Nutrition. That's why I've been using uh, Bucked Up. Now, part two this is going to be Noxygen by Purist Labs. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but this stuff will literally give you a skin tearing pump. Straight skin tearing. It's, it's ridiculous. I only take it on my chest and shoulder days because those two muscle groups, uh, I always have a hard time getting blood into them, so that's why I take this. And then this jar, this is just like some EAAs, just some sample packets of EAAs and whatnot. I'm also on a multivitamin, just take two gummies, recommended, um, recommended dosage. But yeah, that's my stack. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be recording my workout today. I am hitting chest with a good friend, Nick Castle. I'll have, him, I'll have his Instagram and shit linked down in the description. But, um, yeah, I might record. I might not. It just depends, like, how I'm feeling. But I'm training at a different gym, like, a different Y. So I don't really know how they feel about me recording with a fat-ass camera like this. So, yeah, I mean, if I end up training, then you guys will obviously see that footage. I know a lot of people out there, I mean, all on my comments, people say, oh, he's on the fucking juice. Oh, he does juice. He probably does, ju he probably does steroids and growth hormone. Do you want a fucking medal for figuring that out? You want a good job? Like, no fucking shit. I'm a professional fucking bodybuilder. I'm five foot six, 240 pounds in the fucking off season. Like, put two plus two equals four. Good fucking job. The problem with most of you out there is, is that you are judgmental fucks. And the problem with that is, is in this and what we're doing, the whole reason that we are in this, in the gym setting, fitness setting, is to uplift each other. It is like Robert Frank, this is the one fucking place we can go that everyone's on the same fucking page. I don't care if you're fucking natty, you're not natty, you're a crossfitter, whatever the fuck, powerlifter, bodybuilder, whatever. It's here to fucking become better. That's the one fucking place you can go as a, as a fucking place of just uplifting greatness.
I don't care if you're a fucking power lifter. I don't want to fucking power lift. I have no fucking desire to do it. But if I see you pull some fucking wild shit off in the gym, fucking right. Get that shit. Let's fucking go. That's the whole point. So whenever you become a judgmental fuck like some of you people are, oh, he does this. Come on, dude. No fucking shit. Is that a good reason to say that you're better than me? What makes you better than me? It's the fucking reality of this. So it's, it's, I mean, I get to the point with all this where it's like, okay, let's get to the real truth of this, okay? It's like saying, oh, yes, steroids exist. Well, if they exist, people are going to fucking take them. Simple as that. There's a right way and a wrong way to do everything out there. And One thing I've learned in life is that uh, it's very intense. It's and, it's and it's getting more intense out there. And by that, I mean that whenever you get kicked and you're down on the ground, because life kicked you in the stomach and then it kicked you when you were down, it will kick you even harder and harder and it will make you feel like you can't stand back up. It's fucking intense. That's life. And me being the motherfucker that I am, I've been kicked when I've, I've been knocked down. I've been kicked when I've been down. I've tried standing back up and got kicked again. Back down on the ground. And at some point, you, <laughs> you just got to get sick and tired of getting fucking kicked. And at that point, that's whenever I realized that life is intense. Life is tough. It doesn't matter. It's not everybody's life story is rainbows and blowjobs. Some stories are tougher than others. Some people have a harder upbringing. And everybody learns in a different way. But the way I've learned is just being the intense, passionate person that I am and be who I am and do what I love. And that's one thing that I learned in life. So if my inappropriateness or vulgarity offends you, again, I really can't say that I give a fuck because this is what I know. This is why I am who I am because I know the type of place that this world can be and how it can treat you and what it can do to you. And a lot of you out there with the messages I've been getting and the responses is, you know what that's like too. I'm not going to become Jay Cutler. I'm not going to become this guy or that guy because I'm not them. I'm me. So I got to work on becoming a better me. And to do so, that's going to take trial and error. That's going to take a learning curve. That's going to take education, information, everything.